makes the catch! Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my! Perfect timing and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. Now the 2-2. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch! Ball game! The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle, long, long, long. An extraordinary final season in the making. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Flushing Queens baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. It's the first game in the month of June between the Milwaukee Brewers and the New York Mets. A big time arm and a power bat should be fun. First pitch is next. Robert Gesellman will be on the mound for game four. Harold, what do you got? Well, he's having a decent year. I mean, you look at the fact that he's got an ERA under 350. That tells me he's keeping his team in ball games. He's giving them a great effort, and sometimes he's pitching deep in games. So I don't know what we'll get today, but I do think he'll go out there and give this team some solid innings. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Set to deliver on two and one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Under it is Granderson, one away. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, you have to keep an eye on the Hebrew hammer, Ryan Braun. He's been the fire starter for this team. Last 10 games, how about an on-base percentage of over 400? As he goes, so goes the team. He's playing great ball and making things happen. Stepping up now, Keon Broxton. And this is a good-looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right-handers this season. One and two, here it comes. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away just flat out frozen there nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball so I think he wasn't expecting it at all into the box now Ryan Braun he comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball, one and two now. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. That misses. It's to two and two now with two away here in the top of the first. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Gone in order of the Brewers. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Junior Guerra gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, his last outing, he pitched the minimum five innings to get the W, and he got the win. I know he wasn't real happy. He's hoping he can pitch deeper, and we'll see if he's able to go deeper in this game today. It is Curtis Granderson, and as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. 
Takes a knee-high fastball. Well, he's really struggled. I mean, over for, for the series, but the confidence they have in him, he's still in the lineup. Let's see if he can break out right here. And the changeup is way low that time. All even at two and two. Here it is. A fastball that just misses inside. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Another full count pitch home. Again, he sends it out of play. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Roxton's under it. One down. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. HR, how do they go about trying to start out the month with a win? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a run at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He went deep in the contest last night. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Harold Reynolds, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Braun, and a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain, a home run. So a solo shot here for David Wright. Third home run for him on the year, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. about a guy getting hot right hits a bomb hit one yesterday usually when he gets hot he starts to hit them in bunches and this could be the beginning of a very very good hot streak now batting Joanna Cespedes he begins this one with the fourth best batting average in the National League one out nobody on And this is taken for a cold strike and he's not in love with that call either it's one and two now here he comes on a ball and two strikes misses ball two so he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row now I don't think he'll go for it again I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And another foul ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Now this is what baseball's about. A pitcher and hitter going back and forth. Foul ball, strike, foul ball. I can't wait to see how this ends. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Hit hard on the ground to second. Jeanette is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. And that's get one on the David Wright home run. Second inning coming up. It's one nothing Mets.
And that brings up the left handed hitting Travis Shaw having a very nice year currently second in the NL batting chase. Big breaking ball and a beauty one and two. That's pretty good break right there breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But man that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Travis Shaw becomes the first out of the inning. All right time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at the catcher Travis Darno. The thing about Travis not a big guy and he's had some injuries along the way. But if he can stay healthy he's got a great pitching staff to catch. So striding forward now Domingo Santana the average for him entering play not far north of 200 sent on the ground out to second throw on to first two gone. Settling in now Jesus Aguilar he's not among the league leaders in home runs but his total does top this ball club into the windup here's the two and one pitch way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. We're in the second one nothing Mets early on. Two two pitches lofted in the air out to right field. Bruce has a read on it makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Three up three down for Milwaukee. It remains one nothing. So striding in Jay Bruce. Currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. And the pitch. And a full count now three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Bounced softly in front of the plate. And he set down one away. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Brewers. And yes, they move players all over the field. They love to shift heavily into the analytics and really apply it to their club. You'll see guys moving all over the field today. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, and he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Broxton's on the move. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's Lucas Duda now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Ball called strike one and two. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Arcia has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. We play two innings, it's one to nothing. Some fans still trickling into the ballpark as we get you set for the top of inning number three. Here's the catcher Jet Bandy. He's the number seven hitter but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And that one stayed up a little high. The two and one on its way. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. And Walker will put this one away for route number one. So one away in the inning now and before we get too much further let's take a look at where the Mets find themselves in the race for the National League East. Next to bat Orlando Arcia. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. One out, nobody on. Right at third. Throw gets him, two down. 
batting ninth. The pitcher number 41. Stepping in, Junior Guerra. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. The 1 and 2 pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Gone in order of the Brewers. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Here's the one and one pitch. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. The pitcher Robert Gesellman steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation so let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's set here comes the one one now a bunt attempt here but a foul ball one and two the count now. He squares and it's in the air. And the catch is made for the first out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Center fielder, number three. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Both for one for him here in this one. Runner at first here, one man out. Outside, two and one. Ready with two balls and a strike. Runners going. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. So he's in safely there following the one out steal of second. And with that, we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. Now a ball hit high down the left field line but back in amongst the spectators foul. Another 2 2 offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. It's the second one he's seen in a row now and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third one. Three in a row. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now an off speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he looks at one that misses and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. And with first base open the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. From the belt, the pitch. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. The 2 2 now to right. Oh, now, and right gets into one here as he lifts this ball high and deep to left field. Into the second deck and gone. David Wright with the three run home run his second home run of the game and the Mets have jumped out to a four nothing lead. Well he won his last start but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here so he's got his work cut out for him if he's going to get the W on this one. He's going to have to start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. Yeah. 
In now, Ioannis Cespedes. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Hard on the ground towards short. Backhanded on to first, and there were two down. Here's Neil Walker. 0 for 1 here in the Neil early going. Walker. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Fielded by Jeanette. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Three complete from City Field. It's now 4-0 New York. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Scooter Jeanette. Back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Throw to first in now time. Batting. One gone here in the Center fourth. Keon Broxton. And that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit in the air out to left field. Cespedes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Here's Ryan Braun now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Duda is there for it. And that retires the side. Jay Bruce will be the one to lead us off when we return. It's the Mets four and the Brewers nothing. Riding in, Jay Bruce. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the 3 1 pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Whoa, you know a pitcher is really fighting himself when he misses the zone by that much. I'm surprised the catcher could even bring that in. Four runs, just two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Hey. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill and he tries for the backhand reach at third but he gets by the glove down the line and they keep rolling here their runners at the corners with still nobody out he just well, sports that ball off the wall and now the question will be should he have continued to on or not he thought about pushing it I'm sure but decided to play it safe it would have been close but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Now the Brewers managers up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart early here this afternoon and you have to figure he will not be thrilled with his performance in this one. Chase Anderson answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. Into the box, Lucas Duda. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Base hit, and that'll get a run in. That was terrific. You always hear, keep your hands inside the baseball. That's a perfect right. example. The ball was in, and he took it back up the middle. You can't do that if you don't keep your hands inside the baseball.
Stepping in now, Travis Darno. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. Ready with the two and two. Chopped weakly to the left. Arcia fields it cleanly. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. This could have been much worse for the first baseman here. He goes up for the throw, leaving his feet, and exposes himself to a potentially devastating collision because the throw was down the first baseline. He's lucky he didn't get taken out right here. So coming to the plate, Robert Gesellman. He hits here in a spot where he might be able to put this one out of reach. Yeah, Matt, down five, another run across here could very well put the nail in the coffin. Mentally, they might still feel like they've got a shot if they could get out of this jam, though. One and two now as this catches the outer half. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with Center a sinker, fielder. I think Number you have three. to stick with that plan. It is Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. A 1-1 one one count. Here's the pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. He's set and the one two pitch nope. and he lays off it to even the count two and two. Come on, man. He's ready with the two two pitch and that jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate. Well that's back to back breaking balls he's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third. He's set here's the two two hard hit at third. And he goes down to the knee, but that's by him a base hit. One run scores. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Third baseman, number five, David. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. 0 for 4. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. Well, no one really likes getting plunked by a pitch, but as long as it doesn't do too much damage, most guys will take it any day. A free pass can be a big deal if the guys behind you can make it hurt for the pitcher. Digging in once again, Joanna Cespedes, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's 2 and 1. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. Hard on the ground towards short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We played four full. The Mets are out on top, six to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 2 and 1 on its way. Hit hard up the middle. That's a hit. The first of the game for Milwaukee. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take now it back up the middle hard like you did right here. Nice Domingo job. Domingo Santana. Digging in to try it again. Domingo Santana. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. No runs, just one hit. One error thus far in the game for Milwaukee. On the ground, up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On to Duda, a double play. 
Good pitch on the ground ball there, and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Into the box now, Jesus Aguilar. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think. Right. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. None left for Milwaukee. They still find themselves down 6-zip. Here's Neil Walker, 0-2 on his line thus far. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Braun going back on it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out the of the right inning. Fielder number 19. Shane. Here's Jay Bruce now. Ooh. His lifetime batting line against Chase Anderson. The pitcher zoned him. He's a paltry one for 11. He also has one home run. A fastball that just misses inside. Waiting on deck is Drubal Cabrera. A breaking ball over the outside corner for strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. The next three two. Looked like a cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he lays off this one down and in for ball two. Two one pitch a circle change taken for a cold strike two. Well that change up right there sets up a lot of things now the counts two and two he'd come back in with a fastball and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better or he can go back to that change up. Into the wind up here comes the two two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here's another two two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Doesn't okay. offer at the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Mets six, and the Brewers nothing. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Ready with another 2-2. Hit on the ground out to short. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter number three. Short Digging in to try it again. Orlando Garcia. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Here's a ball skied in the air near the line, back behind first. Camping under it is Duda, and there are two away now. Eric Sogard will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two out, nobody on. A high fastball is in there. And this is going to be a foul ball. He'll try again one two. 
hit down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Three. Curveball locks him up strike three, and that's the third out. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. They won't make a dent in a six to nothing deficit. Tommy Malone gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Digging in once again, Lucas Duda, one for two on his line so far in the game. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. That's a nice spot for a pitcher down there below the knees, but I think that call's a little bit low. Sliced hard on the ground. And the throw on to first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side catcher. of the infield. One away. Travis Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right hander loosen up. And whoa, this is off the third base bag. And they'll recover and get an out on the play. My goodness. Now and it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees Robert, with that out call at someone. first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to challenge. All right, we'll take one play. last look at it here. The question is, is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe? And wow, from that look at it, I think he did beat that throw. This challenge might work out for him. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. The Upon runner will stay at first review. base and the they maintain the right to challenge further plays going forward. And the batter ruled safe. In now, Robert Gesellman tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul and we'll see if he tries it again. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Arcia gloves it. A step on the bag for one. Oh, on to said. first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Center fielder, number three. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Perfect. Granderson. A Go hit in two tries so far. Swing and a hot shot toward third. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. Gesellman is on his way home. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Great piece of hitting here. Men on first, and they're playing him to pull. But he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. Ready once again, David Wright. He's driven in four already, and yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Two, two, here it is. Line drive to left. Granderson rounds third and is digging for the plate. And a relay home. And he will get under the tag safe at the plate. And it's eight to nothing. So another run is across to score on the base hit. And with that, we take a look at the league leaders in runs scored so far. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. Here's Juana Cespedes. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. 
A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Here's another one, two. He's on the move again from first. Drilled right back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We're through six full. Mets out in front, eight to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Really? From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's 1 and 2. For Walker now at second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now and Hill. that'll bring in the speedy Keon Broxton. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. One and one, here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, he's throwing the ball so good today. He didn't get that pitch right there, but he's been getting most of the calls around the plate. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Waiting on it is Granderson as he takes it for the second out. The left fielder, number eight, Ryan. Braun. Here's Ryan Braun now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Two now as that's in there at the knees. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. The They're on the short end of an 8 nothing score. Ready for another shot now, Neil Walker. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Santana is in a few steps as he takes it for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jake Bruce, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. He's fallen behind now, 3 and 1. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Fouled back. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Skied into straightaway right. Santana is under this one. And he's got it for out number two. Number Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Nothing across here this half. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead this one eight to nothing. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect. But getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Now well, these fans have been treated to a fine Here outing out of their hometown Santana. starter as we give you a look at the numbers here. A big zero in the run column on the right-hand side of your screen. 
Ready for another chance. Domingo Santana. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Hey. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Now another one, two. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. One gone here in the eighth as we check our line score to this point. And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Riding in once again, Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Outside and a full count, 3 and 2. And it's late to his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up, but man, he's been good so far. Oh, and he misses it. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. Here's the catcher, Jet Bandy. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. 3 and 1, here it is. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down in front of Granderson for a base hit. Now the relay home is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Milwaukee leads one, still 8 nothing. Striding into the box, Lucas Duda. He's working on a one for three thus far. The two and one on its way. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Back to back change ups and fouled that one off right there. I don't think he's going to come back with the third one. I got to be thinking some other pitch is coming. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. That was a good job there of using the batter's aggressiveness against him. He was putting up a good fight and fouling a lot of balls off. So as a pitcher, it's a great idea to expand the zone even more and make the hitter really chase after something that's even hard to foul off. And this is fouled straight back. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. Grounded back up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Well, sometimes you make the perfect pitch, and you still give up a base hit. Now, that ball's down, ball and he just scooped it out Robert. and drove it through the infield. Oh, Stepping up now, Robert Gesellman. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Throw in time at first for route number two. It is Curtis Granderson. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. Out of here. Into the visitor's bullpen. A two-run home run for Curtis Granderson. Twelve home runs for him now thus far as the blowout continues.
Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. Standing in now, David Wright. In there, one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's the Mets 10, and the Brewers nothing. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Gonna be a tough play. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next for Milwaukee. A reminder to stick around at the conclusion of the ball game this afternoon, as we'll get you full highlights of today's contest right here on the show. Hernan Perez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. And here's a ball hit in the air. Bruce on the run. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batting, second base. Here's the second baseman, Scooter Jeanette. He's Jeanette. their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hit sharply toward the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Well, that's why you grind out every at bat. You don't want the game to end on your Everybody. watch. He gets the base the hit, extends it, Keep and we'll see what happens the rest of the way out. Stepping in now, Keon Broxton. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. Ten to nothing, the final shutout score in this one. The Mets get their 20th home win this year. Robert Gesellman earns his fifth winner of the year. And it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. Junior Guerra permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plesak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. victorious New York Mets. Ten runs on ten hits. One error. They left four men on Field. That's it, number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Ground ball to short. This should end it. Lindor sets. He throws. And the Cleveland Indians of 2016 have set 